and welcome back to Build a Bitch Mini. A Build a Bitch Mini is a tiny piece of the Build a Bitch workshop that I do on Saturdays where I teach you guys building bitches up. So I teach you guys basic life skills and what I do is I take a small section of the lesson. Today it's going to be skincare. Sometimes it's how to wash your ass. We have some of these Build a Bitch Minis on the Build a Bitch Mini playlist. Um, and I just kind of go over a mini version, a quick version, or sometimes a more in-depth and detailed version of what we learned in class. Like today, like I said, it's gonna be on skincare, and it's nighttime. I obviously, I was gonna do this in the daytime, but I had already done my skincare routine. So tonight, I'm just gonna do my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. But I'm gonna go over the very, very, like, this is super duper duper basics. Very, 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 very basic skincare. I'm gonna go over the types of skin uh, cares you can use, the type of skin you have, the five types of um, different types of skin, um, and I'm gonna go over my personal skin care that I do. By the way, skin care is for men and women, so please, men, do your skin care. Okay? So, so there's five different types of skin. The first one is oily. It's shiny and greasy everywhere. A lot of times, if you have oily hair, you have oily skin. If you have oil, dry hair, you have dry skin. If you have sensitive scalp, you have sensitive skin. That's not always true though, so just in case, you'll still wanna do the test that I'm gonna tell you guys later. Um, there's dry, it's rough and flaky T-zone, tight and elastic. Um, it's itchy and irritated, it has more wrinkles than oily skin. Oily skin doesn't have a lot of wrinkles, but it is more prone to acne. Um, then we have normal, which is like perfect skin. I don't know anyone with normal skin. Um, combination skin, dry cheeks, oily T-zone. I have combination skin and sometimes it's combination sensitive. And then sensitive, which is what I said, red, irritated, burning, itchy, uh, vulnerable to fragrances and dyes. So if you get, if you break out in hives, if you uh, smell something too strong or you put something on your face or any colognes and you break out in hives or you're just red and itchy, you probably have sensitive skin. Um, there's two ways to determine your skin type. The watch and wait method. Wash your face with a gentle cleanser. Wait 30 minutes. Uh, look in the mirror. Um, if it's shiny throughout, it's oily. If it's tight and itchy, it's dry. If it's, if it's uh, shiny on your T-zone, but oily or dry on your cheeks, then it's combination. And if it's just red and inflamed, then it's uh, sensitive. Hydrated and normal, hydrated and comfortable, it's normal. Um, or you can do the blotting method, which is the same thing. Wash your face with a gentle cleanser, wait 30 minutes, and then uh, pat dry and then wait 30 minutes to uh, And press your blotting sheets to your face. So um, you take these, I don't, I don't have any because I don't really, I don't ever use them, but they're like little blotting sheets. They absorb oil. You're going to press them on different areas of your face. If you have a lot of oil on them, you have oily skin. If you have little to no oil, then you have dry skin. If you have a moderate amount of oil, you have um, normal skin. And if you have oil only coming off of your T-zone, then it's combination skin. Super sensitive, right? Or super, uh, super easy. Makes a lot of sense. Basically, the type of skin you have is based on the amount of oil you produce or your skin produces. So, there's different skincare routines for different skin types. If you have oily skin, you have to cleanse every single skin care routine. Comes with cleansing it morning and night. I don't know why they're saying cleanse it one time for like dry skin or cleanse it, cleanse it one time for sensitive skin. If your doctor tells you to do that, okay, cool. I cleanse mine and everybody that I know cleanses their, cleans, cleans their skin multiple times, twice a day or multiple times a day because I'm a distance runner. So I also wash my face and do my skincare routine after I run, so sometimes three times a day. But anyway, oily skin cleanse with a gentle uh, foaming cleanser. Um, I like to do an oil cleanser and then a foam cleanser because that's just the way I was taught to do my skin. I've been doing my skincare for a very long time since I was like born. Um, exfoliate twice a week, retinol, use retinol for acne, um, Moisturize, make sure it's oil-free, lightweight, water-based, and free from harsh chemicals, and then put on sunscreen. If you have dry skin, 
you're gonna clean, you're gonna wash your face, use a non-foaming cleanser is what they say to use. That's what everyone says to use. I personally am against that. I use, like I said, an oil cleanser and then a foaming cleanser. But if you have dry skin and you're using a foaming cleanser and it's not working for you, try a non-foaming cleanser. Um, then use treatments. Vitamin C for dry skin is really good for dry, C, dry skin. Retinol is really good for dry skin. However, remember, and also for oily skin, if you use retinol and I think vitamin C, use them at nighttime because the sun can fuck with your face. And if it can do something to the retinol, it's like a chemical reaction and then your face fucked up. You don't wanna fuck that face. Uh, use an essence. There's one with a, there's one with a hyaluronic acid at, um, uh, ingredient, which is amazing for dry skin. I use it all the time. It's amazing for almost every skin type. Um, fifth moisturizer, sleeping pack or SPF 30. It depends if sleeping pack is, is at nighttime. SPF 30, use your skin, your sunscreen in the daytime and then mist throughout the day. I have a mist right here. This is from Olay. Most of my skincare is from um, overseas, from Korea or from Japan, but Olay makes a really good mint skin mist if you have to buy this like in a pinch. I don't like to use American brands. A lot of times they're super duper drying and they have too many fragrances or too many strong fragrances. Um, so if you have combination skin, you're going to use a gentle face wash and then use a hydrating mist with toning benefits, essence, exfoliate two times a week, moisturize, make sure it's oil free and, free and lightweight, um, and then sensitive oil cleanser, water cleanser, then calming exfoliator, then toner, then an essence, then a serum, then an eye cream, then a moisturizer, then a sunscreen. I know that's a lot. Obviously, you should look up your own skincare routine. This is just a quick over, overview of what you should be um, doing for your own skincare routine. So we're gonna go over mine. I already washed my face. Obviously I was in the shower, I already washed my face. Um, my oil cleanser is in the shower. I use the face wash and a lot of times I use the face wash um, foam cleanser too, but it ran out so I just, I ordered it and I'm, I'm just using this for now. Um, in the daytime, I use a foam cleanser and then I use is this? It's a cream cleanser. Huh. Sometimes I use an oil cleanser and then a foam cleanser and then the cream cleanser because I'm a, I over clean sometimes. It is what it is. I'm fine. It hasn't fucked up my face yet, so whatever. So yeah. after I wash my face, then I do my exfoliation, which I dermaplane and I just take like a little, um, what's it called? I take a little straight razor and it's just go like that. And you shave, it's almost like shaving your face, but you're shaving off the first layer of skin on your face. And then I spray it with rose water. All of that's in the bathroom because it's wet and it's gross and I'm not bringing it in here. Um, then I use an essence and I use the, oh, the future solution. It's a, just a balancing essence, right? Put this on your face. You like this. This is how you put your, it's a, it's real. an essence is a thin moisturizer pretty much. And sometimes I rub it in, rub it in if I'm rushing, but if you're not rushing and you have the time, you're actually supposed to pat your face in. Some people, I remember my babysitter, she would like slap my fucking face when I was little. And I'm like, stop slapping me, stop slapping me. So you just slap your face gently, right? And then your skin absorb it. And it smells so good, by the way. This is also a really good weight loss tip. If you spend your, if you have a problem with nighttime eating, a really good weight loss tip is to do something to take your mind off of nighttime eating take for replace your nighttime eating okay um if it's daytime then i'll just use the this is a different one but it's another uh essence uh okay then i use it's a teeny tiny bottle of my favorite cream a little goes a long way and it's la mer and it's a moisturizing soft cream and a little goes a really long way with creams like that. Um, one of my clients gave this to me. She gave me a couple of them. And they're super, it's super duper thick, but my grandma used to use this. My mom used this. Everyone I know used this. And they all swear by it. Everyone I know with nice skin in my family has used this. And they all swear by it, but they're older. And I was like, yeah, they don't know. 
They were oh, this for oh people's skin. It's amazing. My skin has never felt better until after I did this. Then I do it, I guess I do mine backwards because after I do that, then I do my eye cream and you just, you use your pinky finger, you use your ring finger, not my pinky finger, I don't like little pinky finger. And you just lightly put it in there. Don't get it in your eye. If you do though, you shouldn't fucking burn. This is La Mer too. La Mer makes great products. Shiseido makes great products. Um, Amazon has some great ones. The face wash is a great product. Etude House, it makes great products for combination skin at least. Oh. Oh. And I just got, my, my lady gave me a bunch of these. So, I guess I have skincare for the rest of my life. Like she literally, she gave me so many little skincare things. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with all this? She's like, you like skincare? And I was like, yeah, but what am I supposed to do with all this? Okay, then after that, I do this. So if this was in the morning time, I would, I don't put on eye cream in the morning. I put on this, what is this called? It's just a, it's called Stimul Skin Plus. And it's just a, it's called Reshaping Divine Serum. It's just a serum supposed to make you super shiny and pretty. But this one is another night cream I put on. It's uh, another Shiseido night cream. And if it was morning time though, I would put on the Shiseido sunscreen, right? Oh, it's real. Ah, oh. and sometimes it gives me like a warm, tingly feeling. Not on the inside, on the outside. I don't have a soul for on the inside. Oops, is this the, is this the wrong one? This is the wrong one. Then, if it's morning time, like I said, there's this lip glorifier that she gave me. It's really good, and it's just like glittery chapstick. But in the evening, this is um, a lip, an eye and lip contour, but I don't use it for my eyes because I already put stuff on my eyes, so you just blew. Oops. And I've been putting it on my lips. I normally put a different one on my lips, but okay, cool. Okay. And then lastly, I do my neck cream. If it was the daytime, I don't always put my neck cream on in the daytime. Sometimes I do if I'm feeling extra fancy. Sometimes I don't. And you're supposed to look super shiny before you go to bed. Unless you have oily skin. Then don't look too shiny before you go to bed. If you look super shiny before you go to bed and you have oily skin, you're going to wake up with acne. Stop putting coconut oil on your skin. I don't know who came up with that idea. Especially for oily skin. Maybe if you have super dry skin, you can do it. I use coconut oil for my dog skin, which is great. And I use it for my hair. So I put it on your face, not for your face. Um, and then throughout the day, I would, like I said, I would use my um, hydrating spray essence. So that is a very, and then I put sunscreen on. That sunscreen. It's actually color correcting sunscreen, but whatever. That's a very, very quick, very, very quick basic guide into skincare. If you have any questions, find out your skin type, go on to Google, and you're gonna have to play a trial and error. That's what I used to use. Now, if you have combination skin, I can recommend Tatcha products. I can re recommend, um, I don't typically get acne. I get one right here when I'm on my cycle, um, and I get a couple right here. But um, I don't typically get acne because I've been doing skincare for so long. Um, if I were you, I would, and you have skin like mine, I would go with Tatcha. You could go with Etude House, you could go with Shiseido, you could go with La Mer. Um, if, and you can also go with this new brand I've been testing out. I'm not French, I don't like French, but I'll let you read it. Can you see that? There you go. Clé de Pou, Pew, Beauty. I know the word beauty, beauté. Um, and then another good one is the face wash or the face shop. Uh, whitening, bright, it's not whitening. Rice water, it, it says whitening, but it's not whitening. Rice water, whitening, brightening, face wash. Oil and, um, oil cleanser and uh, foam cleanser. And then wake up, wash your face and do it all again. And do this every day for three weeks and your skin will be much, much, much better. Obviously, I'm going to learn more about it 
If you have questions about your specific skincare, you can ask me and I'll do the research for you because sometimes, sometimes you just need to know where to look. So, and I already know where to look because I've been doing this since, like I said, birth. Thank you for watching another Build a Bitch Mini and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.